people to come up in here. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. There's always some problems. Always some problems with the boat. Even, even trying to fix the boat, there's going to be some problems trying to fix the boat. Yeah. What's up? We got two people in the house. Three thumbs up. What's going on, guys? Good morning. Chunky Cats. Chunky, you know all about the boat problems. When you can't figure it out yourself, you just go live on YouTube and get some people to come in here and help you out. <laughs> What's going on, Anthony, Dustin, Uncle Lou, Eric Davis, Outdoors with Big Mac. Hello. Good morning, everybody. You're welcome for the stickers, Mark. Appreciate you guys stopping in here. So, I've had a, a problem with the boat. I've been speaking about it on a couple live streams. But we'll show you. I gave you a thumbs down. This side, Chunky, I'm going to give you a butt whooping for that thumbs down. Don't worry, it's coming soon. <laughs> so, this is the problem that I had, guys. I went to Deep Creek um, a couple weeks ago. And when I came back from Deep Creek, this is how I found my boat. Now, do you guys see anything wrong with this picture? <laughs> This is what happened right here. The, the toe hitch, you know, the tongue, it buckled under the weight and it broke. Now, I got the new one here. This one was rated for 1,000 pounds. This one's rated for 2,000 pounds. But before I jack this thing up and put this on, I got to get all the water out. So you guys see there's water right here. There's water all inside this cutty cabin right here. And I got a pump. I got a sup pump. But the problem is this inverter isn't strong enough to run the sup pump. So now I have to get a, a, a converter running on gasoline or something to try to get this water out because it will not, it keeps cutting off. And then I tried to get the siphon to work. I've never done a siphon before, but you know, I put the hose in there, suck the water out. Had it coming out, but it wanted, the siphon doesn't work. But yeah, see, we're filled up with water. Whole cutty cabin filled up with water. Got to get the water out. And that's what I was here today. Had some time to come mess around with the boat. Wanted to get the water out of the boat so then I can get the new tow hitch on and get this thing in the water again. That's why you guys haven't seen me in the boat. Because I can't, can't hook it up. Can you get a big floor jack under the front of the trailer? Yeah, I can get a floor jack under the trailer, Lou. I want to get the uh, I want to get the water out first because there's probably another, you know, couple hundred gallons of water sitting in this thing. That's just gonna add more weight. So I gotta get the water out first. That's problem number one. That's why this thing broke in the first place. Was all that water? It rained for like four or five days straight when I was on vacation. And the water got in there and it never drained. Once I do get the water out, I got to go in with the air compressor and blow through the pipe so that it'll drain. Something's clogging it up, stopping that water from draining. And it's just sitting in there. Then it'll just drain. Let me see. Once you do that, the water will go to the stern. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The water just sitting in there. Um... The problem was I had the thing jacked up and had it, you know, all set up right so that the water will drain out the back, out through the scupper plugs and such. But it was clogged up with debris, which I did not know. And it pulled up with water. I came back here and found it like this. So I ordered the parts and everything. Maybe I can help with a better inverter and pump. Where are you at? I am in Germantown, Chunky. I am in Germantown. That inverter is like a 500 watt. Um, that's just to run like black lights and stuff like that. So I was hoping I was going to see if I had enough umph, but didn't have enough umph to, uh, to get it out. Nope. Didn't get another boat. Uh, Carolina hunters, same boat, same 22 foot sports craft. Um, the problem is the, uh, the cuddy cabin filled up with water and it collapsed the, uh, the wheel, it looked like the wheel broke first and then everything and then everything else just buckled after that. 
but yeah i got the new mount in here rated for 2,000 pounds this one was only rated for 1,000, and this boat's pretty heavy this boat's 45 you know 100 pounds so help give me an exact location you big <laughs> Oh man, I'm at a uh, my. I'll text you to my location, Chunky. I have it, I have it at a storage lot in Germantown. Um, P P A S Storage in Germantown, I believe, is where I have it stored at. Go rent a gas engine powered water pump from a place that rents out skid loaders and stuff. Okay, why not ask them for a couple extension cords? Yeah, see, the thing is, this place has no power in it, but there is. You're right, I could do that because there is an automotive store right here that does have power and I could just use an extension cord. Good good thinking, good thinking. Because there's this place right here where I have a store that doesn't have power, but there is an automotive store right there. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind letting me use some power. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do that. I'll ask them that first and see what's up. That's what I did, Hooks. The, um, once, once I couldn't get the pump uh, going and powered up, I started uh, just, you know, no homo. I started sucking the water out of this thing. I got it to where it was come out. I tried it, you know, four or five, several times, but it wouldn't siphon. It wouldn't siphon. I don't know. And then I looked up a YouTube video. They said submerge it in water first. And I did that. And then I bring it out and, you know, suck the water out till it was coming out. And it just wasn't, it just wasn't coming. So <laughs> got to say no homo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is it's a nice boat it's just been sitting because the trailer you know we ha i had the, the trailer the front end of it sitting on the ground but i do have room where i can hopefully get a jack up under hopefully the thing is this ground is is, is rocks and soft so i can dig some stuff out I may have to put something up under there but we, we'll be able to get it jacked up for sure there's enough room where i can get under there and jack it up and then put the new thing on. That's not a big issue. The problem is just getting this water out the boat. Got to get the water out first. I need a longer hose. Well, it is, it is longer. It's But the thing is, I don't know. Because this one right here is like one of those stretchy. Um, it's like 15 feet long. There's more, water, there's more of it on the inside. But I don't know. If, because it's stretchy. You know, it's not going to get the right seal. And then the one hose that it came with the pump is too short. But I like the idea. Somebody said, so I'm going to go over to this automotive store and ask if I can just run a hose. That way I can just pump this water out. That's a good idea. We'll do that. Yeah, flex hose. That's what I was figuring, Wayne. I was like, it was the last resort. I, I That flex hose is just bought for the boat because I have a little... Um, wash station that I hook up to and I can spray the boat and stuff. So I got the flex hose um, For that. So I was just trying to use it, eh, but it wasn't working not working good Has to be below the water line. Yeah on the inside of it. I have it below the water line Uncle Uncle Lou said I'm right about something <laughs> Nope, no winnings today. What's up, man? We got 42 awesome people in the house. What's going on? Thanks for stopping in. We're just going over the frustrations of being a boat owner. Um, don't have any issues with the boat, but we have issues with the trailer and water being inside of the, the hole. Old Cuddy Cabin is full of like four feet of water that we got to get drained up. That's why this thing collapsed. And then we got the tournament kayak, right? Chunky. I'm going to go zoom in over here. Hold up. That's not letting me zoom in. We'll just walk over here. This right here. I don't know. We may get the, we may go whoop Chunky's butt in the, in the boat. Nah, we ain't going to do that. We're going to whoop him in the kayak. Yes, Big Slim. I have a cover for it now. I just got to get that water out first. Cover's going on it. That's a big issue. Don't want, especially in the winter time with snow and stuff sitting on there. So I got to cover for it. But here we go. This right here is the Cadillac vessel. It's just sitting over here chilling. Oh, speaking of that, guys, um, Mike Greenwell. So you guys know we have a tournament tomorrow. Me versus Mike Greenwell. 
he has thunderstorms, guys, coming in, thunderstorms and rain. So he's not going to be able to fish in a tournament. So there's not going to be any do you has what it takes tomorrow morning. Sorry, guys, but safety first. Thunderstorms coming in. Definitely understand. Can't be out on the water. Um, I have good weather, though, so I'll still probably go out there and do some fishing. Um, maybe I go live or maybe I'll just record a video. I don't know. We'll see. What would you guys like to see me go live? Or maybe somebody's in here who wants to get their butt whooped. Anybody in here? Do we have any takers? He didn't has what it takes, Uncle Lou. Nope, we sure didn't. Sure didn't. But if we do have somebody that does, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow, if you're still available, you can go out there and do some, got good service and you can do some fishing, let me know. Hit me up, haslifefishing at gmail.com or leave a comment below once this video posts. Nah, the troll. I don't keep the trolling motor in there, Mid South. It's in the back of my truck. I take that out. It's not good to to transport with that weight sitting on the hole. You know, cat um, kayaks they're plastic. They are very hard, but you don't want that in there uh, with the sun and all that stuff. It'll do. It could do some damage to the hole. So I take it out for transport and store it in my truck. <sighs> I want to see you drop the people's blue cats on some jabronis. Oh, yeah. Chunky's going to get the rock bottom. He's going to get the rock bottom cats. So I'm going to hook up to a big old blue cat for sure. Man, I can't wait. I had to give, you know, Chunky a little break yesterday. I wasn't trying to, you know, go, you know, I'm going to give him a 12-hour break, guys, a 24-hour break because I seen his blood pressure was up. You know, it was sky high. And, you know, I really care about the man's health. You know, he is, you know, he is, a, he is a, you know, older gentleman, you know, Mom always taught me respect the elders and stuff. So I wanted to make sure Chunky's, you know, blood pressure come back down. I need him at full health. I need him, you know, in good health when I whoop his butt. So, you know, I gave him a 25 break. But, whoo, the stakes are high now. The stakes are high in this <laughs> Chunky verse has. Chunky verse has, guys. So the stakes, when Steve done doubled his, his money, me and Chunky done doubled our money. Now the pot is at $1,100. And, and there is a wager on the line that's not to deal with money. If I lose, bye-bye to the Had's head. I'm going to shave my head, guys, if I lose. If I lose, I'm going to shave my head. Now, I, you know, I don't like to do, you know, physical altercations and stuff like that in bets. But... This isn't just no ordinary butt whooping I'm about to give Chunky. So I said, you know what? I don't mind. We can do it. No, no beard, Michael Morello. No beard. No beard. But I will do the head. I will do the head. The beard takes a long time to grow back. So I don't mind doing the head. And you guys also know what, to, what this month is. It's October. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I don't mind doing it for a good cause anyways. You may see me just... <laughs> We may just do it anyways, but I'm whooping Chunky's butt for sure, for sure. And Chunky has to grow his hair out if he loses, guys. So you're going to see Chunky with his uh, bald on the top and hair just growing on the side. For three months, Chunky has to grow his hair out. Or should I get him a wig and make him win it, wear, uh, wear a wig for a couple live streams? What do you guys think? Do you guys want to see Chunky grow his hair out for three months or have to wear a wig in his live stream? <laughs> <laughs> Need some tattoo bets. You're gone too far. No tattoo bets. Oh, and uh, Hector Reyes says, don't forget $100 for any one of you guys to catch a fish over 49 pounds. Yep, that's going to be that's gonna be fire. I can't wait for that, guys. I cannot wait. I'm going for big fish. So the way the tournament, all the above looks is, <laughs> all the above, <laughs> a wig. <laughs> Has would do a beard versus beard against Avid. Loser would shave. Oh, that's not even a competition. Avid might as well go ahead and get the go ahead and get the clippers. <laughs> get the clippers. And we will do, you know, the antics and stuff. Cause we're gonna be fishing at nighttime when we do it. We'll do it um the next time we go live. We're gonna link up and do some bank fishing. And so if he does, if I do end up losing, guys, and I have to sh uh, shave my head, Chunky's gonna do it live on the bank while we're fishing. It's gonna be, you know, funny. And um I'm thinking get Chunky a wig. <laughs> 
Does Avid even fish anymore? <laughs> I haven't seen Avid do any fishing in a while. I don't know. I have no idea. Awesome whiskers and dreams. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, man. But, yeah, I can't wait, guys. It's going to be funny. It's going to be funny. Now we have um, bad weather coming in all this week, so we're not going to be able to get out there this week coming up. I'm going to be on vacation for, like, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And in case you didn't see it, no real loss broke. The yes, I did, Buck. I was watching last night. I was watching last night. Um, where was I at? Oh, yeah, so... I won't be back till Wednesday, and we got rain and thunderstorms coming in. So we're looking to do it the week after. It's going to be a weekday um, in the evening time, most likely uh, 6, 6 to uh, 11. or uh, I think that, yeah, that's five hours. 6 to 11 is probably going to be the time frame that we do it. You stole past how to stir the pot. There's some good stirring going on, guys. Everybody's picking sides. It's awesome, man. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Chunky thinks he has what it takes. He thinks he has what it takes. Oh, man, it's going to be great. I can't wait. All right, guys, I just want to stop in. People been asking about the boat, so now you know that's what's going on with the boat. We're going to get this thing fixed and get it back out on the water. Got to get the trailer fixed. Let me go over here next door to this automotive place and see if I'll be able to use their power. Uh, just plug up an extension cord. Then I'll come back here and hook this thing up. Yes, there is an old school Mustang right here. I don't know the year. I'm not a, but uh, yeah, it's 64, 660, 70s. Looks something like that. Just sitting there. Chunky says he'll be there in 50 minutes. All right, Chunky, I'll be here. I'll be here chilling. We may go live again when Chunky gets here. <laughs> One of y'all needs to go live because it sounds like Haz is about to leave us. <laughs> I has to poof for Haz. Yes, sir. Whiskers and dreams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sixties, <sighs> Guerrero says. Sixties, sixties. Yeah, I mean it's nice. There's people have. Some nice stuff sitting in this lot. You have another, uh, let's see, what is this? You have another, I don't even know what this is. You guys know what this is? I mean, it definitely needs a lot of work. This thing is rusty. So I'm missing the wheel and the rim. SEs or Plymouth or something. I don't know. Let me come to the back, see if it has anything on here. It has nothing on here that says what this car is. DMV with the 99 cents. Plymouth Charger. Yeah, that's what it says. I think it's a Plymouth something. I don't know. Dodge Charger. Let's see if it says anything on the inside. Nope. And then there's just a, 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 a Chevy Camaro just sitting here. This is like a... I don't know why people just store cars right here. I don't know. To each his own. That thing looks nice and new. I would be driving that thing. That's a beat car. <laughs> yeah, DMV for sure. And you got a Chevy over here. A Chevy Corvette. I don't know. But there's some nice boats. This guy has a nice boat right here. I like his boat. Not really much of a fishing setup, but... It's a good like lake boat, go out on. They do the uh, skiing and all that stuff off the back of it. I like the color though, that red and gray. Moomba, that's a nice boat. I'm expecting gas money, my truck runs on super. I never charge my friends, but you're not a friend. <laughs> oh man. No, the Suburban doesn't. Oh, man, yeah, if you guys want to see. This is the new Suburban right here that I just got last month. Um, right now, it's full of crap. It's all full of my fishing gear and fishing stuff. But it's nice, though. I like it. I love it. I love it. But, yeah, this is what this is what it looks like on a normal day, on a normal basis. We got the trolling motor sitting right here. We got the wheels for the kite. We got a bunch of rods sitting over here all over the place. It's a mess. We got the tools and stuff just sitting in here. 
it's a mess. I gotta clean this thing up before I before I go out of town this weekend. It's a mess. When is Haz versus Chunky? Um, we don't have a date set yet, but look for sometime during the week of I believe the 11th through like the 16th or something. Look something for that week, that Monday through Friday. One day during that week, guys, um, we just have to look at the weather because the thing is both of us are, there's a bunch of rain coming in um, this week. So that's going to flood the river and, and make the current, you know, go crazy and stuff. So we got to pay attention to the wind. We got to pay attention to the weather. And we also got to pay attention to the current because um, we're going to be fishing at nighttime in the boat. And we don't need big logs and stuff floating down the river um, and running to us. The hose won't work. Need a real garden hose, even with the even with the pump. I could I'll go to get a uh, another garden hose. I'll do that before uh, Chunky gets here. There's a Home Depot right down the street. I'll just run over there real quick and get another hose. You need a livestock. Tr <laughs> no, no livestock. Okay, Chunky's bringing the water hose. All right, thanks, Chunky. Chunky is a lifesaver, guys. Chunky is a lifesaver. Appreciate you, Chunky. Appreciate you, champ. What we doing today? j Dog and T510, this is what we're doing today. Task at hand. For one, get the water that's out of, that's flooded right here. This is how much water is in here. All this water right here. And then there's like, it's up to, there's a bunch of water in there, like three feet three feet of water in there get that water out and get this thing jacked up and put the new tongue on that collapse so that's what we're doing today that is what we're doing today well the real goal is at least get that water out that's definitely goal number one get that water out of this thing come on someone take hats on tomorrow we'll see we shall see we shall see. I put it up there. Somebody can definitely step up to the plate. I'm gonna go out there and go fishing anyways. I'll probably go live just to um, give Chunky some uh, fishing lessons tomorrow. I think we'll do that. Give Chunky some fishing lessons tomorrow in the morning. Show him how to catch some big fish. And um, yeah, so either way, we'll be out there. Cause I'm also competing in the kayak tournament and I can't give Dan and Stan and these guys all these extra days when I'm not out there fishing because they know how to get on some big old sweet doggies. But I'm going to get them in the short game. The, the whole month-long tournaments are hard. Dan's a great competitor. Stan's a great competitor. And they know how to go find them James River goobers. Uh, Dale, Mike Greenwell has thunderstorms uh, rolling in. Um, he messaged me yesterday. I said, okay, uh, just let me know today, you know, if anything has changed in the weather. Because you know how weather goes. Some days, sometimes I'll say thunderstorms three days out, and then, you know, the day before or the day of, there's no thunderstorms. So. But he, he confirmed again he's not going to be able to do it. They got a bunch of thunderstorms, a bunch of rain coming in. So weather is in the way of Mike Greenwell getting out there fishing. He's going to be out there bumping on the Ohio River. What's going on, Thomas Weatherford from South Carolina? Yep, the ch people's champ wins again by default. 3-0. 3-0. <laughs> <Three and oh. laughs> yeah, I, it won't. It won't uh, drain. Even if I jack the boat up, it's not going to drain because the drain is clogged. That's why it didn't drain in the first place. Because um, I had this thing jacked up in the air. Um, cause before one time the boat, um, had like three inches of water in it. I had it sitting on cinder blocks instead of resting on the, uh, the tongue. But I was like, no, I need to jack this thing up as high as it can go. So that way it will, it will rain. Cause the boat is kind of on, it's a little bit of an incline where, where it's at right now. So I had to make sure this thing is jacked up high enough so that the water would drain out. But yeah, jacking it up is not gonna work. I gotta, I gotta pump that water out. Hit 
he has a bone in his leg. <laughs> he has a bone in his leg. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all come with the jokes. Is this my mail? Oh, yeah. All access. They sending me a bank card. I don't want this. I don't want this junk. Has. Please don't drop your phone in the water. You're not even. <laughs> The good thing is these iPhones are waterproof because I have dropped this phone in the river before a couple times. <laughs> but luckily it was just at the boat dock. Just drill an inch hole in the front. <laughs> oh man, that, that inch hole would cost me $5,000 to repair. <laughs> oh Lord. For the last, one of you guys always seems to go live when needed. Good luck. Are we back? Nope, not yet. Come back to us. Come back to us. There we go. We're back. Sorry, guys. Wifey just uh, was calling. She was probably calling to check on, see how the boat is uh, coming along. She doesn't know that I'm live right now. Well, let me... We got 35 people in the house. 42 awesome people in the house. 35 thumbs up. Seven dollars in super chats. Appreciate you guys, man. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Whew! Always some problems, man. Being a boat owner, then I gotta go clean this thing out. I gotta clean this thing out, man. It's it's a mess. All this water sitting in here, and I made some algae grow on the boat, so now I gotta scrub this thing. Got a lot of work to do. What's going on, Mike Chavez? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for stopping in. Dongle fishing tails. What's going on? Man, water's supposed to be on the outside of the boat, not in the boat. Sheesh. And this is what we have sitting on the back of it, guys. We got the original OMC C Drive. This thing right here is a beef cake. Yes, yeah, Stan, working on the boat. Got to get the water out of the boat. Got to get the water out of the boat. This thing right here is a beef cake. I'll say it probably weighs like 400 pounds. <laughs> this bracket alone right here weighs a ton. It's 225 horsepower, but top speed on this boat is like 29, 30 miles an hour. That's the top speed. Top speed. Oh, original, 1987. 1987. Older than me. This boat is older than me. And this right here, this is the James River muck right here all this 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 dirt line i go out on the potomac river outside boat never gets dirty go visit the james river for one weekend and they done tore my boat up i tore my boat up <laughs> yeah the sweet yachty <laughs> the sweet yachty man but i'm i'm gonna get rid of this thing right here i'm gonna keep it and probably till next spring, then I'ma sell it and I'ma downsize and get me something. Cause the thing about this, I'm gonna show you guys. It does have space, but I would like more space. Let me see if you guys can see. So this is the back of the boat. It's a little messy right now. We got the cooler right here. I mean, it does have pretty nice size space, but all of the space is just taken up by this cuddy cabin. I would like you know, more up front walk around space and stuff. And I also want something a little bit wider. I want it to be wider. This thing right here is probably like five and a half feet wide. It's still stable, but I would like something seven foot at least. Seven foot aluminum DV, something lighter. Something easier to tow. This thing right here, terrible gas mileage towing this thing around. You get terrible gas mileage. Pull the plug. <laughs> yeah, and it chugs gas too. That's the thing. I will never go like more than like 15, eh, not even 15 miles, like five miles. I could basically cover as much water in this boat as I could cover in the kayak because it gets like half a mile a gallon. 
it gets happened. No, I'm not buying a boat, Lucky Ronnie. I own a boat. I'm just working on a boat. I bought this boat um, back in March, sometime back in March. I haven't been on it in like, since I got my kayak, I haven't been on it. It's been like a month and a half since I've been on the boat. But just have to uh, get all the water out of the boat so then I can jack this thing up and replace uh, this tongue that collapsed because the boat filled with water. This thing wasn't, it's rated for a thousand pounds, which was enough to, for the boat to sit on. But once all that water got in there, then it just added another 500, 800 pounds and pff, it just broke. Sell it to your ex-friend Chunky. <laughs> Bring the kids down for a boat cleaning party. Yeah, once I get this thing up, I'm taking it out and I'm gonna go get it washed up. I'm gonna take it over to my parents' house, um, get it washed up. I gotta replace the the fuel filter on it too. I'm gonna hook it up to the hose, start it up, make sure she's running good. Then we'll take it out on the water to show him how to drain the water. <laughs> oh man, Eric, I. I don't have enough oomph. It just cuts off when I turn it on. It'll run for like, you know, five seconds and then it just cuts off. It just, it's just too much power. Those, um, those uh, pumps, they, they draw a lot of electricity. Those, um, what do you call them? Sup pumps, those sup pumps, they draw a lot of electricity. But all right, guys, just want to give you guys an update. Um, I'll still be out on the water in the morning. I'll still go fishing regardless of, you know, we don't know how, we don't have anybody for do you has what it takes tomorrow. Cause Mike Greenwell has some, um, some weather issues, but it's all good. We're still going to go put some fish in the boat. Cause I'm still fishing in a month long tournament and I'm going to be on vacation the next couple days after that. And it's going to be raining all next week. So we probably won't be able to get out on the water. We may do some bank fishing though. Um, I do like bank fishing in the rain. Use, yeah, CVA. I do, I do need to get a generator, but um, I really, I don't use it. Like I wouldn't use it much, so that's why I just haven't invested in it. So, and I, my my uncle has a generator. Um, if I if needed, I could contact him. But I know he's out working right now. And the generator's all the way in Hagerstown. I was trying to hope that I wasn't gonna have to need it, but yeah. We'll see. Chunky's coming down. He got a bigger inverter and a bigger battery. We'll test it out. If not, um, I'll try this automotive store. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. You're going out tonight? All right, Lucky. Yes, there's a tournament tonight on um, Becca Mudtramp's um, channel, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. They're doing like a, um, a duo tournament, one lake, one lake fisherman, one river fisherman. Um, that's going to be fun to watch. So I'm be in the house watching that. Um, what's going on, George? I'm coming. Bad traffic on 495. All right, Chunky, I'll be here. I'll be here. I ain't going nowhere. I'm just going to go mess with the kayak. I got to tighten up some bolts and stuff over there. So I'm just going to go mess with that for a little bit. Has I've been fishing in the rain from the bank tonight, brother. Wish me luck. Wish you luck on your boat troubles too, by the way. All right, Roger. Thanks, man. Good luck. Hope you can go out there and um, catch some fish. <laughs> boop, boop. So good luck, everybody. And I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I'll catch you guys. Um, I'll be live out there. Um, probably just fishing by myself. So God bless. Tight lines. Good luck, everybody that's going to be out there fishing this weekend. Stay safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.